are Americans paying to write on Russian shells that will be fired into Ukraine? This was sent to me by a few people, and it appears to have started from a Reddit post that shows a flag and some text. And I'm not going to show you this particular flag because YouTube has already demonetized me multiple times this month, but you could call it a flag from the American Civil War that represented the battle flag of the losing side. I'll just leave it there. I'm sure you can Google it. Now, the question kind of became, are Americans paying to have messages written on Russian artillery shells. Now, soldiers writing on shells or even bombs goes all the way back to ancient Greece, where some soldier wrote DXAI on a rock uh, for a sling weapon. And DXAI incidentally means catch in ancient Greek. And you can kind of see this in pictures from history from World War II and then later the global war on terror. But this particular example came from a Twitter account called Z Shaker Central or Grisha Putin. And for the price of 30 euros, you can have your message written on a shell. And for 200 euros, you can have a video of it being loaded and presumably being fired into Ukraine. So the question is, is this real? Well, I, I think it is. There is a video of someone drawing on the shell, so it certainly could be real, or at least real as in they are physically drawing on the shell and not just Photoshopping an image onto the shell. So using ICD-203, which is a standard in the intelligence community for evaluating probability, I would call the physical drawing of characters on these shells to be very likely. Now, one of the things that I noticed is that some of the shells had the same artifacts, so they may be doing multiple designs on one shell and never actually sending that shell uh, into a, an artillery tube and firing it, um, unless maybe someone pays those 200 euros and then they can have that shell fired. Uh, now, unfortunately, I noticed this, but as I was writing the script, uh, LaserPig posted about this on Twitter. So I, I have to give him credit. Um, you know, there's, there's enough cake for everybody to eat. Uh, and if there's one thing both Laser Pig and I like, it's cake. So uh, you, know, you can check out Laser Pig's channel. He, he gives some good analysis. So in some ways, this could be a grift. And these particular shells never travel downrange. Uh, we really don't know. But it does look like some of these shells are the same shell. So the next question is, are Americans paying for this, or is this some kind of Russian psychological operation or PSYOP? Based on the designs, you see a lot of anime characters, so I think this might be more of like an internet edgelord kind of thing. Um, you know all those 4chan incel losers who watch anime and talk about red pill or are obsessed with jawlines? I, I think it's paid for by those guys. I have trouble believing that a Russian PSYOP officer is into anime. I mean, maybe. I'm almost 50 and I tried getting into Yakitori on Netflix and I just, I just couldn't. Although Blue-Eyed Samurai is freaking amazing. You should definitely watch that on Netflix. So maybe some Russian PSYOP officers are commissioning designs like this, but to, to what end? The purpose of most Russian PSYOPs, or really of any PSYOP, is to change the attitude of the civilian population in order to get them to distrust their government. By making them distrust their government, the, the population might go against the war, and then it's a lot harder to get funding, and we're seeing that right now in, in America's Congress. So, I mean, maybe an operation like this could cause some pearl clutching for some diehard Democrats, but that's not who you need to reach to change their mind. You want to reach the squishy people who really don't know much about Ukraine, and you want to you want to reach those squishy people because that's what causes division. You, you don't want to go for the people who are already kind of locked into their own candidate. And a supporter of President Trump might not be following the war in Ukraine as closely as some of those who are in the opposition. So I don't know if they would actually be in the kind of communities that would actually see this shell. So 
Using ICD-203, I would say the chances of this being a Russian PSYOP is unlikely. There's just no reason for them to do this. It doesn't move the needle either way. Finally, what are the odds that Americans are paying for these shells? Well, first, you're going to have to define what is an American. Could it be an American in America? Maybe. It might be tough to transfer money into the Russian banking system, though. Um, organizations like PayPal stopped accepting transfers into the Russian banking system, uh, I believe, last year or two years ago. So Russia has been cut off from the SWIFT banking system, but supposedly there are still some banks that allow for transfers. And um, if you're one of those internet edgelords, though, you probably have a Bitcoin wallet or, or some way of transferring money. Now, if you're in America and you transferred money to this guy, you're probably on a list now. And that is not a list that you want to be on. But there could also be some expatriates living in Thailand or the Philippines. And I could totally picture some shady characters who live in Thailand or the Philippines uh, sending money to this guy and then posting it on 4chan uh, to get some kind of edgelord cred. So using ICD-203, I would call the possibility of Americans paying for some of these drawings a roughly even chance. Now, one more thing. Be careful writing on shells. You know, when, when, when you do stuff like this, it can be taken way out of context. This girl wrote on this shell back in 2006 when Israel uh, was in Lebanon, and it's been used to claim that this was fired in Gaza recently. Something you write on a shell might be taken out of context years later. And, you know, in the, in the case of this picture, who knows who that shell landed on? I kind of wonder how that girl feels about it today. Was that the right thing for her to do? It might have felt good at the time, but knowing kind of what happened in Lebanon in 2006, do you feel good about yourself now? So don't do something that you might regret later. It's personally not something I would have let my guys do as a platoon sergeant or as a first sergeant. Uh, you know what? If you have enough time to write in the shell, I'm obviously not working you hard enough. So come here. Bring a water source. Since you have all this extra time, I got some sandbags I need filled. So yeah, it would behoove you not to do that. And uh, if you do do it, it would behoove you not to post it online. And if, by the way, you say behoove too much, you can go to Bunker Branding and get one of my behoove t-shirts or even one of my behoove stickers. It makes a great gift for NCOs who say behoove too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. In a world where fashion meets firepower, where style becomes strategy, it's time to gear up for the ultimate mission with Bunker Brand. Introducing the Rock Out With Your Chalk Out t-shirt, a tribute to the fearless air of cavalry. Feel the adrenaline rush as you don the pride of the skies. For those of you who dare from the air, precision and power unite when you think outside the bomb. And don't miss our Live Laugh Launch t-shirts for Patriot and High Mars, because sometimes defending freedom means bringing the thunder. Finally, for the true defender of the seas, we present Department of the Boat People. Sail with honor and show your allegiance to the world's mightiest maritime force. With these shirts, hoodies, and stickers, along with the tow missile, landmines, and drone warfare. These aren't just shirts, they're statements. They're your way of saying I stand for strength, unity, and style. Get yours at Bunker Branding today.